Hey guys, Flo here bringing you another episode of the Napoli Carimo series. We'll have, as always, three matches prepared for you. We're gonna start off with the Serie A match and we're gonna finish up with the most important match in the group stage. The last match in the UEFA Champions League. We'll see who will qualify alongside us in the Champions League. But this match against Bologna in the Serie A currently in fourth spot uh, with the same number of points as Lazio. 25, six points behind the first spot and the second one. First chance, Lucas Piazon on the left flank, getting past the defender, trying a shot, but Agliardi saving the ball. Again, Lucas Piazon, the youngster, passing the ball for Cavani. He tries a placed shot, uh, but it's off target. Bologna, that was a free kick, but Aberdo, but Costil saves it. He was too close to the keeper, so uh, he couldn't get the ball past him. Cavani with a few step overs. Cavani from the edge of the box. Cavani! But Agliardi saving the ball once again. First half finishes with this nil nil. Napoli have been pushing more in the attack, but on the counter attack, Bologna making some dangerous chances for Napoli. A corner kick here for Bologna. And it goes millimeters wide of target. Hamšík getting the ball off the defender. Hamšík. And Agliardi saving the ball, saving his team, and it's still nil-nil. Cavani. Napoli need to do something if they want to win this one. Insigne. With a cross, Zuniga with the header. Didn't expect Zuniga with the header there, but Agliardi saving once again. Diamante! What a shot that hits the post. Beautiful dive there by Costil, but he never would have managed to, to get this one. Terab on the left flank, but Agliardi saves and the match will finish, Bologna nil, Napoli nil, Napoli had more chances but uh, it will finish nil nil and in Serie A Napoli are falling behind. Next match it will be Napoli versus Milan but, but I did wanted to show you guys that I did sign them another youngster, uh, his name is Alfonso Viana and you can see there on the potential side a lot of dark green uh, stats. Of course, he will. He won't be eligible to play till two years from now. But uh, yeah, another thing, Cavani here wants more money, and the thing is, I don't have any money to give him. I, I wanted to give him uh, a raise, but uh, hope he's not upset. Napoli versus Milan at San Paolo in this Serie A. Milan, since the new manager for Napoli came, has always been trailing behind Napoli. You can remember. The last season's cup final, Napoli winning that one on penalties. Napoli winning uh, most of the games against Milan since the new Napoli manager came. First chance here for Napoli in the fifth minute. Tarab shooting Tarab! It's deflected and it's a goal for Napoli. What luck for Napoli, but they will take this one. 1-0. One Again Napoli with a shot. I think that was Inler. Hamšík passing the ball for Tarab. He goes for the second goal. Here's the post. Vincini now tries another cross. But it's cleared away by Didak. Napoli in attack. Hamšík in the center of the pitch. Shooting the ball but Amelia saves. Pressing here by Napoli and Hamšík takes the ball once again and Zuniga with a shot. Amelia couldn't have saved this one but it's off target. Tarab on the left flank. Goal! Tarab scoring after a Ronaldo chop. Tarab, how many goals? The beast from Maroc scores yet another goal. Dzeko here. For Milan and what a defending from uh, from Napoli to to help Costil save this one. Nocerino, a beautiful pass. 81 minutes in, Alexander Pato with a cross and El Sharawi scoring. 81 minutes in, Pato with a perfect cross and El Sharawi with the goal. 
You could say that Costil made a mistake as well, but uh, it was a perfect play by Milan. But it will finish 2-1 for Napoli and they're back on track. Uh, we're gonna go now to the Champions League, last match of the group stage. This is how the group standings are at the moment. Napoli in the first place, uh, they already qualified. The really important match of this episode is Arsenal versus Marseille. They face each other at Stade Velodrome in France. We are going to cover that match at halftime and uh, at the end of the episode just so you know who qualifies from this group stage. But we are going to see this match Napoli versus Celtic at San Paolo. Both teams uh, had nothing to play for. Napoli already qualified and Celtic uh, just one point after five matches. First chance is for Napoli with a cross there. Trying to make himself some space, but the shot is wide of target. El Caduri now, again for Napoli. Beautiful dribble, and El Caduri! 1 0 for Napoli! 29 minutes in. Personal goal here from El Caduri, and it's 1 0 for the Napolitans. Zuniga, 3 minutes later. Zuniga. Beautiful dribble, finds Insigne. 1-2 there with Vargas. Insigne gets into the box, but Foster saving the ball. Beautiful play here by Celtic. And Bangura, but defending is top class here at Napoli. Bangura here, passing the ball up front. Uh, Bangura scoring the, the only goal in the previous match uh, against Napoli for Celtic. Bangura now crossing the ball. Header hits the post. But Kayal is there and scores for a 1 1. Celtic are in this game. Beautiful cross. Perfect header. It just hits the post. But uh, from the rebound, Kayal scoring just before the halftime. But everyone is wondering what the result is in the other game. To help me out with that, we have a colleague here to help out. He's at Stad Velodrome. George, can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Electrifying atmosphere from Stad Velodrome. Yeah, yeah. How are things in France, George? Well, it's the same result you are witnessing in your game flow. It's been a great match overall, well balanced. Arsenal opening the score in the seventh minute from the penalty spot. Podolski with a powerful shot. Mandana had no chance. But a few moments before the referee was about to blow the whistle for half time, Ayo scored to make it 1 0. It was from a corner kick perfectly executed by Valbuena and Ayo with the header to score and keep the hopes alive for the Marseille fans. Well, they do need to win this one to qualify from the group stages, uh, Marseille. How did the first half develop? I mean, who do you feel was the overall stronger side? It's hard to say, Flo. Both teams had their chances. Arsenal was the team to control the game in the first half an hour. But in the last 15 minutes, Marseille pushed hard and found a gap in the Arsenal defense to score. Hopefully, the second half will be as exciting as the first. Thanks, George. We'll see at the end of the game who will march forward in this competition alongside Napoli in this Group A of the Champions League. Second half starts here at San Paolo with a volleyed shot here by Lasau, I think it was, but Costel is saving with no problems. Vargas here for Napoli, 80 minutes in, shoots El Caduri, but Foster saving the ball. They didn't have a lot of chances in the second half. I bet everyone was wondering what happened to the other match, but Vargas here! What a fantastic goal by Vargas! Play shot! Beautiful, beautiful play shot and it's 2-1 for Napoli. They want to finish this group in style. And it's 2-1 for the Napolitans. What? Another shot, but it's poor in the end. Uh, this game seemed to be finished. Another game that is finished is Marseille versus Arsenal. Let's go to our college, George, and see, see what happened. Unbelievable finish here, Flo. Marseille won this game and qualifies. Valbuena scoring 82 minutes into the game. He 
The atmosphere here is absolutely mental. It's just outstanding. Yeah. No, no one expected Arsenal to go out of the groups. Do you feel that Marseille deserved it? Definitely, definitely. I believe Marseille deserved it. It wasn't the most spectacular match by any means, but the atmosphere in and around the stadium pushed Marseille to win this game. Thank you. Thank you, George. Hope you hope you get out of their lives. So uh, in Group A, we have Napoli and Marseille qualifying in the knockout stages. Arsenal, surprisingly, to continue in the Europa League. So this was the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more if you want to see who I will face it in the Champions League in a couple of episodes. Uh, like, comment if you may. Do all that crap. And I'm um, going to see